Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today I'm going to be answering the question, when should I go to the ER if I have COVID-19 symptoms? I first want to start off by saying the vast majority of people, 80%, will not ever need to go to the emergency room and will be able to recover in their own homes with medications for pain like Tylenol, plenty of fluids and rest. However, that other 20% may need hospitalization with oxygen therapy or intubation. And intubation is when someone is connected to a breathing machine. Dyspnea means shortness of breath. It often is associated with hypoxia as well. Hypoxia is a low oxygen level in your blood. The rate of progression to shortness of breath or dyspnea for someone that has COVID-19 usually is five to eight days after symptom onset, but progression to the dreaded ARDS or advanced respiratory distress syndrome, which often leads to intubation can be rapid and can occur about two and a half days after shortness of breath that I mentioned. As I said before, dyspnea equals shortness of breath. How can you monitor those symptoms? How do you know when it's time to go to the emergency room? You know, we've told people to stay at home unless absolutely necessary, but there are gonna be that 20% of patients with COVID-19 who will need to go to the emergency room. And it's important not to wait too long. You should go when necessary. The ways to monitor at home are with a pulse oximeter. I've mentioned this in an earlier video. A pulse oximeter is just a simple little machine that you can buy over the counter without a prescription. And you can put that on the tip of your finger and it measures your oxygenation level. A normal level for most people is 95 to 99%. That can be different if you have COPD or emphysema or live in high altitudes, but for most of us, your normal level should be 95 to 99%. However, we're not all gonna be able to have pulse oximeters at home. So another way to monitor your symptoms is to count your respiratory rate. Your respiratory rate is the number of times that you breathe in one minute. And a normal respiratory rate for adults is tw about 12 to 20 per minute. If you're breathing more than 30 times per minute, you should start thinking about going to the emergency room. Another symptom is severe shortness of breath when you get up to go to the restroom and a kind of shortness of breath that is very difficult to recover from. You just can't seem to catch your breath even when you rest. Another indication is shortness of breath when speaking. Also, if family members start to notice confusion or start to notice a bluish tint around the lips, on the fingers, or on the face, that also may mean that you're not getting enough oxygen to your brain or your tissues and it's time for you to go to the emergency room to be placed on oxygen. I also do wanna say that even for mild symptoms, recovery time from COVID-19 is about two weeks. And for those with more severe symptoms, disease recovery takes three to six weeks. Of course, that can even be longer if you're hospitalized and placed on a breathing machine. At the end of the day, I wanna to continue to stress the importance of washing your hands, social distancing, and staying at home unless absolutely necessary to leave the house. Thanks again for joining me.